About 1,000 years into the future, the earth had become diseased, polluted and vastly overpopulated. This led to the rich and powerful out of Earth, they live in outer space on a huge space station called Elysium. Elysium is a well-conducive space station suitable for human to live. It have plenty of resources and infrastructures, and most importantly, Elysium have an advanced medical system called MedBay, which is capable of curing any form of disease or sickness in a matter of seconds. With no doubt, those living in Elysium are definitely living the best of life. Meanwhile on Earth, a young boy named Max is living with a group of reverend sisters. Max is introduced to a new colleague called Frey. Contrary to Max, Frey is an educated girl who can read, and her ambition is to become a professional nurse in the future. On the other hand, Max's aim is to go to Elysium someday, so as to help his people. He had read a lot of books about the place and had found out how cool it is. As time goes on, Max and Frey built a very strong friendship bond and both pledged to be together for the rest of their lives. Few years later, Max had become a full-grown man living on his own. He dressed up for the day and head to his workplace. On his way to work, he met some kids on the street begging him for money, but unfortunately for the kids Max had nothing to give them. While on a queue, waiting for his turn to enter into a public transport, Max was searched by some robot patrol officers who accused him of carrying a weapon with him. After a thorough search, Max was freed as nothing was in his bag, but Max was left with a serious injury on his left arm. Max head to the only hospital in the city. Coincidentally, this is the same hospital Frey, Max's childhood best friend is working as a nurse. On seeing her, Max was surprised and happy for her at the same time. He congratulated her for truly fulfilling her childhood dream of becoming a nurse. Max tried to have few words with her but Frey excused herself as she told Max she have other patients to attend to. Max was downcast but he refused to give up on her. He left his ward to meet Frey on her counter. He invited Frey for a coffee together hoping she can agree, so they can have a few time together. Surprisingly to Max again, Frey declined the offer, thanking him for his concern. He left the hospital and head to the patrol office, to clear himself about the incident that happened at the bus stop earlier. Getting there, Max was charged with violent and antisocial behavior. This made the robot officer extends Max's parole by eight months. He tried to plead not guilty, but unfortunately the punishment is non-negotiable. With all the happenings, Max arrived late to work. Seeing the deep injury on his arm, Max's supervisor queried him of being late and getting to work with an injured arm. Max an employee in the robotics company, works at the assembly line as usual. Ironically, the robotics company is owned by citizens of Elysium, who are in charge of all the activities going on, on Earth. They discharged robots on each corner of the Earth monitoring each and everyone's daily life. Due to Earth's hazardous state and condition, a lot of people have been suffering from cancer and all other chronic diseases, and their only hope to be well again is the Med Bay, in Elysium. Therefore, a man named Spider who is a specialist in manufacturing spacecrafts, decides to launch three spaceships smuggling ill and sick people to Elysium, to use the Med Bay. While enjoying a glass of wine, the Defense Secretary of Elysium, Delacorte, received a call that some undocumented ships, are approaching Elysium's airspace. Hearing this, Delacorte quickly head towards her office to see things for herself. An emergency order was given to the spaceships to return to Earth or else, they will be forced to face brutal actions. But the people are determined not to go back to Earth, after making it this far. Seeing this, Delacorte, Defense Secretary of Elysium orders to shoot the ships down. Kruger, a subordinate to Elysium Defense on Earth was contacted. He was informed about some spaceships breaching into the Elysium airspace. And in no time, Kruger got his rocket launcher loaded, and he fired a few rounds of missiles towards the ships. The missiles shot down two, of the spaceships, but was ducked by the third. The cosmonaut must definitely be a good pilot. The third ship had finally breached its way into Elysium. Immediately after touchdown, everyone rushed out of the ship running towards various directions they assumed would be the best for them. Delacorte immediately ordered the Elysium military forces, to make sure everyone who came out of the ship, whether aged or young, is apprehended. The defense forces are very advanced and efficient, they came just few minutes after the call, arresting everyone found on the scene. Fortunately for a woman and her child, they had escaped to the building where Med Bay is located, before the soldiers arrived. Thanks to the seal mark given to her before leaving Earth, Med Bay scanned her daughter as a citizen, and in few seconds, her daughter who had been crippled for years, was healed. Well, this scene proves a minute happiness would turn to a sorrowful situation, in matter of seconds. The pain worth it though. Afterwards, Delacorte was informed that all the illegal immigrants from Earth, have been kept under custody, for violating Elysium's 68C Immigration Act. She instructed that all the immigrants be sent off Elysium's habitat. Immediately, the migrants well arranged to the deportation center, and boom, they were all sent back to Earth. Delacorte got called and is to report to, Patel, the president of Elysium. Max on his way back home from work was stopped by a street buddy, who told him about a new catch in the city. Max and his buddy used to be burglars and were into stealing of cars, back in day. But Max had stopped the habit after he was released from prison, so, he declined the suggestion. Next morning, Max while working on the assembly line as usual experienced a door malfunction. He informed his supervisor, who insists Max rather get inside the room to remove the jam, or go back home and never return to work. Left with no other choice, Max entered into the room to fix the jam. But just as he entered into the room, the door closed and Max was exposed to a lethal amount of radiation. 
All his co-workers' efforts to bring him out of the room seemed abortive. A couple of minutes later, Max was dragged out of the room by a robot doctor, who told Max that he will experience a catastrophic organ failure due to the long period of time used in the radiation room. Max was diagnosed of only five days to live and was given Miparol as medication. It became dawn to Max that somehow, his childhood dream seemed to be the only chance left for his survival. He had to find his way to Elysium to use the med bay, which is definitely the only way to get himself healed. He went to meet Spider, promising to do anything for him, just to get a ticket and an ID to Elysium. The two agreed on a proposition and Max is fitted into a metallic exoskeleton to help him better in combat. At the same time in the hospital, Frey is looking after her daughter who is suffering from heart seizures. Dr. Foyser, who is the head official told Frey her daughter can't be healed with their level of health care. Frey either get her daughter to Elysium or know her daughter is of no difference, as a corpse. She visited Max to inform him about her doctor, Matilda, current situation. On getting there, she saw Max in a very critical state and was concerned about his health too. Max was a bit unhappy after finding out Frey is with a child already. But he made up his mind to help, after finding out that Matilda is in the final stages of, leukemia, a chronic blood disease. Defense Secretary of Elysium, Delacorte, plot a coup d'etat against President Patel, with the support of, Carlyle, CEO of the robotics company on Earth. Delacorte promised Carlyle that his contract will be renewed for the next 200 years, as the CEO of Armadine, if he can make her the president. Carlyle in exchange, programmed a software that can override Elysium's data system, and make any change to the database, including the president's name to Delacorte. On the other hand, Spider who is after the profitable informations, such as bank accounts stored in Carlyle's brain, chased after him with the help of Max and his boys. When Delacorte learned that the database she needs to become the president was stolen from Carlyle's brain, she sent Kruger, the notorious agent to hunt down Max and recover the software at all cost. Kruger, who had been betrayed by Patel, was lured by the sugar-coated words of Delacorte, who promised to elect Kruger back to the CBB and make him head of Elysium's defense force. Max and his boys tracked down Carlyle and extracted the software data from him. Fulfilling Spider's mission, Max can now go to Elysium to heal himself, using the Med Bay. He got to Elysium and met Kruger, who had betrayed Delacorte, after being given citizenship rights to Elysium. Max had to fight and defeat Kruger to gain access to the Med Bay, as Kruger had made himself the military general of Elysium's defense force. Max used the last dose of the Miparol given to him by the robot doctor, because he knew it's going to be a very tough battle. He fight his way through Kruger's subordinates, taking them out one after the other. He quickly evacuated Frey to a safer place and head on to combat Kruger. Kruger uses a shuriken bomb on one of Max's mate, leading to a very fatal injury on them. Max suffered a vibration on his head, but struggled back on his feet. He engaged in a one-on-one -on -one battle with Kruger. The two fought ferociously, as they were both good in combat and are very skilled in using weapons. Max managed to overpower Kruger and threw him off the building at a high altitude. Spider helped Max up, and held to a tech lab. The data stolen from Carlyle was stored in Max's brain, and the data needs to be removed as that was all Spider desires. However, by doing this, Max's life is prone to a serious threat because the removal might cost him his life. Spider wants to hesitate, but Max told him to do it, as he had already fulfilled his childhood ambition of coming to Elysium. He made a last wish and called Frey, who by now had already taken her daughter to where the Med Bay is. Max told her she won't see him again, because he's going to die. Remembering their good childhood days, and the precious time they had together, Frey wouldn't help it, as she let tears out of her eyes. Having said that, Max looked back in time and let a sorrowful smile from his mouth. He pressed the button and died. Spider, who is now the new person in charge of Elysium, organized several medical facilities and equipments from Elysium, down to Earth, including the Med Bay. The spaceship carrying the equipments touched down and several people, suffering from one sickness or the other rushed down to use it, in joy. Frey held Max's necklace, as a symbol of remembrance of him and his historical legacy. She looked up with a bright smile, hoping for what's is to come up, in the future. Thanks for watching, please do well to like, comment, share and subscribe.